Good day, everyone. In this week lecture, we are going to study the remaining two types of market structure, namely monopolistic and oligopoly markets. Monopolistic is a market structure that has many firms compete in the industry. These firms produce differentiated products. Therefore, they can practice non-price competition to increase market share. Besides that, monopolistic firms are relatively small size. Therefore, it is easy to enter and exit the market. The firms that are producing shoes, boots, watches, toothpaste, soaps, ice creams and chocolates are the monopolistic firms. As a monopolistic market is formed by many small firms, there are some implications in this type of market structure. Firstly, each monopolistic firm has relatively small market share in the industry. Therefore, each firm has little power to influence the average market price. However, each firm can influence the price of its own product through product differentiation. Secondly, there is no single monopolistic firm is able to dominate the market. Hence, no one firm's actions directly affect the actions of the other firms. However, each firm makes decisions such as pricing and non-pricing strategies based on its own demand and cost conditions. Thirdly, as the monopolistic firms are small, they have limited power to add together to limit output, raise price, and increase economic profit. Therefore, it is impossible to create collusion among the monopolistic firms. In a monopolistic market, a brand of fast soap can differentiate its product in terms of chemical composition, color, smell, softness, reputation that matter to customers. Since each monopolistic firm produces differentiated products which have cross substitutes, each firm has some power over the price of its own product. Therefore, individual firm demand curve is better than the industry demand curve. Monopolistic firms use various methods to attract customers to buy a particular brand. Among the non-price competition strategies, that can be used in the monopolistic market include brand name, product quality, advertising, promotion, free gift, loyal program, and after sales service. However, expenditure of non-price competition increases cost of production. This additional cost will be paid by the product buyers. Monopolistic market has low barriers to entry. This is because new firms can easily enter the industry with small business scale for competing with the existing firms. The last market structure that we will learn is oligopoly. The oligopoly market has a few large firms that dominate the entire industry. These firms offer either homogeneous or differentiated products. As all of the oligopoly firms are price makers, there are mutual interdependence when choosing business strategies. Oligopoly market has high barriers to entry. Among the businesses that are belong to oligopoly markets are automobile, cement, petroleum, and commercial air travel. Monopolistic market is dominated by a few large firms. Therefore, each firm has a large market share and significant power to influence market price. An oligopoly is defined when the five firm concentration ratio is greater than 50%. For instance, the petrol retailers in the UK is in the oligopoly market because the five firm concentration ratio is equal to 66%. Similarly, the search engine market is also categorized as oligopoly because Google has closer to 93% of worldwide market share in the search engine market. The products shown in an oligopoly are either 
homogeneous or differentiated. For example, petroleum industry serves homogeneous product. On the other hand, automobiles industry serves differentiated cars. Therefore, the automobiles firms can compete through advertising and product quality. Oligopoly market is dominated by a few large firms. Therefore, changes in price or output by one dominant firm can have direct effect on another firm. This implies that oligopoly firms are mutual interdependence when deciding the price, sales target, advertising budgets, and other business strategies. For example, before increasing the price of its air phase, AirAsia should predict the response of other major commercial air travel firms, such as Malaysia Airlines. If other rivals do not follow AirAsia to increase air phase, large number of AirAsia customers will switch to other airlines. This will reduce sales of AirAsia. Each oligopoly firm has a king demand curve. This is because rivals of an oligopolist will match a price cut but ignore a price increase. By referring to the attached diagram, if an oligopolist increases its price above P, his rivals will ignore. The oligopolist will lose large number of its customers to rivals due to substitution effect. Therefore, oligopolist has elastic demand. On the other hand, if an oligopolist reduces its price below P, his rivals will follow leading to price war. Therefore, the oligopolist has inelastic demand. Due to the king demand curve, an oligopoly firm has no incentive to either increase or decrease price of its product. This leads to price rigidity. In order to avoid price war, oligopolies prefer non-price competition. Oligopoly market has high barriers to entry, which are due to natural barriers, ownership of patents and copyrights, pricing and advertising strategy of the existing firms, and cartel. Natural barriers happen when the dominant firms can produce large volume of products at lower cost to achieve economies of scale in production. This prevents the entry of new competitors. Besides that, the existing firms may use PMT pricing and aggressive advertising strategies to prevent the entry of new competitors. Oligopolies may create barriers to entry through cartel. It is an arrangement among oligopoly firms to cooperate with each other to keep up new competitors. It stabilizes market shares and prices and reduces competitiveness, eliminates promotional costs, and earns super normal profit. For example, Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, have signed international agreements to limit supply and keep prices high so that all of the OPEC countries can make high profits from oil exports. In summary, monopolistic market has many small firms, but oligopoly market has a few large firms. Monopolistic firms produce differentiated products. On the other hand, oligopoly firms may produce either homogeneous or differentiated products. The small firms in monopolistic market have less power to control market price. However, the dominant oligopoly firms are price makers, but there are mutual interdependence in making business decisions. Monopolistic market has low barriers to entry because all of the monopolistic firms are small relative to the whole industry. Oligopoly market has high barriers to entry due to the existing firms have achieved economies of scale, practicing PMT pricing and aggressive advertising strategies. Monopolies and differentiated oligopolies apply non-price competing strategy through advertising and product quality.